This is the uh, unboxing of a Sunny Tech Sterling engine, specifically part number SC02M. Uh, this is my first Sterling engine, and uh, this company, Sunny Tech, I think it's from China, um, has pretty good reviews. They're not, uh, they're definitely not cheap, um, but I'm just kind of interested to see the quality and see how well it works. So uh, I've already kind of just sliced it at the bottom to make it easier to open because I only have one hand to use. And a little card. Let's see what it says. You know, one of those basic thank you cards that everything from Amazon usually comes with nowadays. Um, some instructions, operating instructions, with pictures of different models. So here's all the different models that you can get. Uh, I think they're all pretty much available on um, on Amazon. And instruction on usage, steam engine model, Sterling engine model, Sterling engine model, so instruction on usage. Um, Okay, so we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, seems really well packaged, which is good, because like I said, it's not a cheap unit. And let's see what we have here. Definitely see some O-rings. Oh, this is, I think this is for the, uh, the fuel. So let's see, cut that. Yeah, this is definitely for the fuel, which I think they recommend using. Oh, and the LED light. Once it comes out. How do you get it out of here? With great difficulty. Holy cow. This might take me a while, so I'm just going to leave that for now. And the top and the wick to go on there. I think uh, generally they say the best thing to do is use uh, like 100% alcohol or something like that. Okay. Well, I should probably really get a tripod next time. There we go. More. Oh, another LED light. And something else fell on the ground. I wonder if it's another LED light. Oh, we'll see. More little packages. Like I said, this thing's actually this is really well wrapped up, so that's good. I guess you know for for how much it costs, at least they package it nicely, and that's everything from there. And there she is. Wow, this thing's actually pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a all aluminum base. They use like the nice acorn nuts. They look like they're, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I would assume that they are going to be stainless steel. Has the little electric motor, and I believe what you do is you take your LED and you just put it, kind of put the LED light in these two little tabs right there. And once the thing starts working, starts turning, it should create en enough electricity to actually turn the LED light on. This little puck here is where your little fuel goes. And the reason why you want to use something like 100% alcohol is because if you use some other type of fluid, let's say like a Zippo lighter fluid, it'll leave a lot of black residue on the little glass uh, tube here. And it will um, make it look not very nice after not too long. So the reason why I got this one was because I, I liked the way it looked. I think that was my main thing. There's different uh, models and styles and designs like I showed here. So there's different ways that you can do this, get the same effect. Um, I thought this one, though, had a very cool look to it. And I plan on taking this to work and putting it on my desk. So I want something that kind of stood out. Let's turn it around. So this looks like it's aluminum, and this plate here looks like it's uh, 
either stale, uh, stale, steel or stainless steel. Very nice. I'm actually really impressed with the uh, the finishing, um, even on the bottom. These studs that go through, it's they use nice screws and nice big rubber pads here, like foam rubber pads. Maybe what I'll do is I'll move the uh, the bubble wrap to get a good overall look. There we go. Not too bad. I've already got moisture there. Cool. Looks good to me. Like I said, I'm very impressed with the finish work. Even the flywheel. And that's, I'm guessing the hole where it kind of goes down with like a locking screw or something to hold it to the shaft. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a spare little belt. And really in the end, if, if you didn't really care too much about the little LED light coming on, you don't really need to use this. You could take that little belt off. It's just kind of something to add to it, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, well, the next step is I'm going to get some uh, fuel for it and then fire it up and we'll see how it goes.